butterflies and this video is going to be a review on her alien doctors by Sarah Fields. So you guys this just I'm just gonna give y'all a heads up because this book is considered an erotica read so if you're not into that then you know whatever you can leave but if you are then even if you're not you can stick around and watch the video anyway give me some views or whatever but um anyway this book is a second book in a series of um the captive bride series i didn't read the first book um this was like one of the free books that i got like for, uh this was like a free book on um amazon that i got for my candle so yeah and I was in the when I read this, um, I was really in the mood for like a spicy read, like so it's like something hot and spicy. And y'all know, like I, I I read the erotica. I like reading erotica. I like reading like adult romance books or whatever because of the, the drama that typically goes on. But this is a book I only gave three stars to, and <laughs> I was like really in between like a two point five and a three stars, so I just gave it three stars. But <clears throat> This book is like set in like the future where it's like you could like travel between the planets or whatever. And um, this girl, Jenny, she um, gets caught stealing from like a powerful politician and she lives on Earth. But she gets caught stealing from like this powerful politician and so he sends her to this like this like space training station where she is going to be training to become an alien bride. And it's like it's pretty much where they like, you know, uh, make you into a submissive for like the aliens that who may want you as a bride or whatever it's, it's pretty much like a, a escort service <laughs> like a marriage escort service is what i want to say it's like or whatever but she is supposed to be this really defiant like resilient like you know tough character that is not going to let them take her independence from her she's going to like give them a run for their money and um, she has a plan that she wants to go back to Earth, that she's going to find a way to get back home to her mother and her sisters who weren't doing so good, which is why she had to steal to, you know, provide for her family. And this is also a world where it's illegal to have a third child, and she was a third child, so they had been hiding her. So when the fact that they found her stealing and they found out that she was an illegal third child, they, you know, sent her away to this uh i can't remember what they call it to the to the little space station where they pretty much send all the third children when they find out um what they are at least the the women and she is oh my god this is taking so long to explain this but once she gets there she causes so much trouble and she's always getting they get spankings or whatever that she's always getting in trouble so they send her to the medical wing where she's gonna have like intensive training now because she's like such a, a problem child so, um, she gets sentenced to the medical wing where she's going to have three doctors get, that is going to be training her and getting her ready and making her submissive. So, um, yeah, it's like a BDSM kind of book. And, I mean, in my personal life, I'm not really into the BDSM thing, the whole dominant submissive and all of this thing. Because I just feel like, as a grown woman, I wish I would let another grown man, you know, whip me like I'm his child. Like, Ain't no way I'm going to treat you like you're my dad. I just think that's, like, weird. Like, I, as a submissive, then it's like you have to respect him, like, almost like he's your parent. And I'm like, if I see you as a parent, I'm definitely not going to see you as, like, a partner or whatever. But whatever, so each is their own. Like, the, I don't mind reading about it, but I just, that's not my thing. And the big thing that I had, <clears throat> a couple of the big things that I had with this book was, um, the one was the punishment thing because like I just said I wish I would let another grown man put his hands on me no matter what it is like even like that's just like saying it's okay for a, a guy just to beat on a woman because she embarrassed him or he didn't she didn't do something the way he said do it or whatever you know it's like the same thing except she not ended up with bruises in her face or something in black eyes or whatever but you know whatever to each is their own but that's just my take on it which is why i'm not into that at all um and i just i had an issue with it because she, her character is described as being defiant and she's supposed to be this tough chick and resilient but at the same time she takes the punishments like you know it's nothing like you know she she starts off saying well i'm not going to let them take my independence or whatever for me and then the very next sentence she's giving in and i'm just like okay her character definitely needs to be reevaluated because obviously she's not too defiant or too resilient because apparently all it takes is an ass whooping and 
she's you know in line so I, I feel like the description on the character was wrong I feel like if there was going if she was going to describe her as being a defiant character then she should have made her more defiant and not just so lean and taking up the ass whooping and then just you know all of a sudden now she conforms and I just I didn't like that so I feel like the characters in general needed more work because I wish I knew more about the three doctors as well. The only thing we get to see like from their background about the three doctors is that they met in college and they went to college together. That's it. I want to know more about their home life. Like why they decided to be the way they are or whatever. Like what interests them. And because it's three, they have three different, you know, um. It's three different doctors, but they have three different, very per different personalities and three th three different ways of how they, you know, handle how, how they handle her, how they punish her, whatever. It's three different things, but I just want to know why they're like the way they are, like, you know, what made them that way, and I didn't get that. And um, that goes into the fact that most of this book is sex, and that's and with erotica, that is going to be most of the book. But when I say that, I mean like there's no plot. Like it's it's like it's like a, a porno that doesn't have a, a plot to it, that doesn't have a, a storyline to it, you know? It's just sex. It's like every, like, two pages is just sex. And anything in between is not really a well thought out plot. It's just kind of like synthesis that they added in to kind of fill the void between the from this sex scene to the next sex scene. So if you take all the sex scenes out, it's not really a real plot to it. And I'm the person, I'm that reader that I need to have a plot even though it's erotic I need I want to read uh, I need to have a plot I need to have a storyline and I don't want to just read sex 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 but none of the sex makes sense if it doesn't have a good storyline I just feel like the storyline the plot itself was just not thought out and it was just like an afterthought just to get to the next sex scene and I just I don't like it I just feel like if you were to take all the sex scenes out of this book there would be no story there would be like maybe a couple pages but they wouldn't even make sense and they wouldn't even carry on with each other it's like that's just what it was it's like don't get me wrong the sex scenes were very detailed and the sex scenes were like very good so if i was basing this book off of just the sex scenes this would have got a five stars because the sex scenes were were really amazing it was very detailed they were like really you could tell all the effort that went into it but if i wish that same effort were put into the rest of the story and this would have knocked me off of my feet okay so the sex scenes were great, you know, they were nice and spicy, it was wonderful, but the rest of the book was just like, mm, you know, it's like, what happened? You know, it was just like really not getting, like the, the plot itself was not adding up, like at all, so, uh, no, okay? So, basically, uh, saying about this book, it needs work. It needs more work. The characters, the plot, it needs more work, it needs some more uh, tinkering to make it a five-star read. Um, that's why I was caught between a 2.5 and a 3 stars because the sex scenes were exactly what it was supposed to be. Like I said, if I was basing this off of the sex scenes itself, this would get a 5 star read. But the rest of the plot minus the sex scenes weren't there. Like they weren't where I wanted it to be. So that is why I gave this a 3 star, maybe a 2.5 star, but just, we don't say 3 star because I couldn't decide where I wanted to sit at on the rating. And um, honestly, I just... I don't I wouldn't recommend it because I just it wasn't good and even though it was the second book I didn't read the first book it, it didn't really matter because it didn't it would it's not like that series where you need to read the first book to read the second book it's not like a continuation from that first book it's just it's like its own book okay but it's like in the same world so it's like in a series or whatever but yeah I, I probably wouldn't recommend it just because if you're like me you like you like a plot I wouldn't but if you don't really care when you're like reading erotic or whatever and you don't really need a plot then go right ahead but I just I wouldn't recommend it because I need. I, I wish I would have had a plot out and enjoyed it a whole lot more better. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about this book. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.